No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We tragically lost him to senseless violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. <laughs> uh, he just never stops talking. I'd never even heard of any Aragaki. Had you? I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Oh, I just want to get home. I gotta study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who this Aragaki is? Wait, you're not even in the same year. No way you'd know him then. Anyways, it's crazy that stuff like this really happens, huh? Huh? What the hell's your problem? Shut up. Huh? What are you getting up for? I said shut the hell up! Iori, sit down. Damn it! Just ignore them, Junpei. <laughs> hey, have you seen Sonata-senpai today? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Do you have a moment? Oh, sure. When you get back today, let's meet in the lounge. I think you all know the reason. Right. I don't expect you to have your thoughts in order. I'm not even sure what to do myself. All right, I'll see you then. So it's about Amada, huh? Well, this will be a fun meeting. Yeah. Hey. At the usual for lunch. I was wondering what ramen tastes like when you skip class. It's surprisingly good. <laughs> you could have invited me at least once, you know. Come on, say something. Why do you have to be like that? Always going off without saying a word. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around? Yeah. You're right. I was always the one running off on my own. I was too obsessed with getting stronger ever since I lost Miki. That's all I've cared about. I thought if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. God, it's like the world is laughing at me. I knew what we were getting into. I knew we were putting our lives on the line, but I was so focused on fighting that I didn't see anything else. It doesn't matter how strong I was. Look what happened! <laughs> I know, Shinji. Crying won't change anything, right? I don't need you to tell me that. In the end, I can't run away from who I am. I've had enough of this.
Rest easy, Shinji. You just watch from there with Miki. I've still got a job to do. Isn't that right? You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess, bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. I knew it was strange when Aragaki-senpai told me he'd be late. But I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. That's right. It's not your fault. If there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So, from this day forward, I'll face things head on, too. This is how it should be. Huh. Senpai. <sighs> Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Wait, Fuka, where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. Maybe not, but we have to try. Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. He's right, Fuka. But... You of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels. And we can't protect him forever. Akihiko! It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. for surprising you. I, I had a feeling someone was in here, so I came to check. What's that? <gasps> Did you find this? I see. He made a habit of not leaving behind any personal belongings. But <sighs> I have no idea when he filled out this form to return to school. Whether he even planned to hand it in, but I think this is proof that he was thinking about the promise we made. Yes. He was so against it, and yet he still left this for us. I should show Akihiko, or actually, maybe I shouldn't. He probably wouldn't approve. Let's just keep this between us for now. <laughs> it sounds like you know how to handle those two now. 
Thanks to you, I was able to understand how he really felt. I'll say this on behalf of all three of us. Thank you so much. Here. You take this. It should go to you, since you're the one who got him to open up. Someday, once we leave the storm, then I'll tell Akihiko. I'll tell him about his struggle for turning to this room to fulfill the promise we made. But he never forgot those days when it was just the three of us. Not even for a moment. You look out, Dad. What are you doing out here? When Mom died protecting me, no one believed the truth. To this day, they say she died in an accident that didn't even happen. That's why I wanted to clear the record. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died in some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And now, I'm going to be left behind. Just like always. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. But you still have your life. <sighs> I'm not here to bring you back. You can waste away here if that's what you want. But, if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. I know that. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I needed something to hate. To keep myself going. I couldn't face the thought of being alone. But that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. <laughs> I'm not running away. I'm not running away anymore. I swear it. Aragaki-san, we'll see this through to the end. I'll be okay now. It's already been a day. Yes. It has. So, where's Sonata-san? He said to leave Amada-kun alone, but... Maybe we should look for him. What do you think? So you agree with Akihiko, then? I can't just sit here! I'm going right now to... <laughs> Amonikun! <sighs> oh, thank goodness! I was so worried! You were? Amato, will you continue to fight? Yes. I'm done running away. That okay with you? Positive. It's all right. We can trust him. Please, don't scare us like that, okay? All right. I'll go and talk to the chairman. You should get some rest. Okay. Right then, I decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. 
Amada, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. <laughs> Are you going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy! <coughs> Koromaru-san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. Stay! Uh, um... Go home? Time for me to go back to my room! Wait! Don't try to get rid of me! Koromaru-san may not have an obligation to study, but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. Guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. All right, I think we can begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori. After all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... What? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. Yeah, I I'm kidding! It was a joke! I'm totally cool being human. No training needed! I'm good! That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much deserved rest. Just a little bit of you.